All right, ladies and gentlemen, everyone out there on YouTube, everyone, live us, live with us here on Twitch. I am super excited because today we are here for our tiebreaker special event. The actual last qualifier of season four is gonna happen tonight in front of our eyes. And Fabs, what can I say? I am more than excited. How are you feeling, brother? I'm feeling amazing, man. I can't, I can't believe this is the last day of qualifiers of the season. Like, Time what? flies, you telling, man. You telling me that tomorrow the action starts? Like the, that is the, true. The, the yes. End the, game of the season starts. It's the crazy. big day is right around the corner, and for that reason, of course, we have to keep today's stream a little bit shorter than usual because right after this event here ends tonight, we have to prepare the entire season standing, so to say, finalize them, and then send a heads-up message to all the players who are going to be featured in the grand final tomorrow. Perhaps the last qualifier going down tonight. A lot of players are still competing right now here is a little fraction of what's gonna happen tonight we start with starks versus Montserrat. interesting matchup lee may Ooh. versus quan chi and i always get it wrong when i say Montserrat. you know plays a different character no he picked up quan chi maybe inspired wow. by rotha lately <laughs> our you know prime quan chi overlord in our events but starks of course a force to be reckoned with whenever he is on the bracket this lee may is going in fabs Yes, sir. My Portuguese, my Portuguese brother out there, Starks. I'm happy to see him back in this game to, you know, cook. Uh, I'm not sure how the Lime matchup goes against Quan Chi. I feel like he might, he might struggle. Yeah, I, I have knows? no idea as well. Let's see how these two are going to play this one out. I see Various in the chat with the five okay. gifted subs. Various, thank you so much. I see T-Baggins with another gifted sub as well. Fabs, this community is hyped. I am hyped. And hopefully Rinsler is hyped as well because he is back on the menu today versus... Uh, how do I say it? It is a premiere fight in MK1 here on our channel. EXO played back Ooh. then in our MK11 event. And today he decided, which is quite funny, on the last day the of last qualifiers, day. <laughs> he is actually going to play for the first time. Maybe he wants to gatekeep a little bit. We're going to find that out. I have no idea what character EXO is going to bring tonight. But what we know for sure is that with Rinsler, we have one of the biggest MK demons out there in today's qualifier. Dude, Rinsler has been like the like the, one of the most like annoying players to fight against since the first day this game came out. <laughs> you always have something to play that you're not gonna enjoy. It's not gonna be enjoyable for you to play Rinsler. So I'm I'm praying for our fellow debut fighter here. I uh, see how EXO does against Rinsler, but it's gonna yeah. be great. But then Fabs, all eyes on set number Ooh. three, the most important match of the entire day. Yozuhuna versus Milo. This is an actual tiebreaker set, and that means Milo right now rank number 30, Yozuhuna rank number 34, and top 32 makes it to the finals. That means the winner is gonna make it, Fabs, and the loser mm -hmm. most likely gonna drop out of the entire season. So this, they have to bring the A game tonight. I know that both of them are super nervous. Both of them sent me a message already saying, oh shit, Rip, I don't know how I'm gonna do this year. This but yes, <laughs> set of the day, in my opinion, two strong players, Yozuna playing around with a lot of different characters lately. But with Milo, you know, on the other side, this is gonna be a banger match, just like our last show. Showdown. Iceper back versus Maxiel. That means potentially Kenshi for you, Fabs, featuring Darius. <laughs> I would like to play that as well. I think Yosuhuna might also play Kenshi on the previous match. Who knows? And uh, this should be entertaining. I like this lineup. We have the PC boys, we have the, the uh, PlayStation boys. I love as it well, as well. You know, but before we dive into the actual sets now, here is the updated top 20 ranking. And one thing is actually mind-blowing, Fabs. Val, here in Season 4, the oh, best wow. performing player in the entire series. This man is unbeaten and he is very, very close at cracking Kanimani season record, which is 18 wins and I think a win ratio of like 88% or something. I definitely have to check if Val wins his final set today. He got match versus Uvility, just as a little heads up. So two sweats, oh, rank number so one bad. and rank number two are playing off stream tonight. <laughs> Let's see if Uvility can break that flawless record from Val here in season four. But generally speaking, Fabs, the ranking is super, super close. A lot of phenomenal players competing and I can't mm -hmm. wait to see who's gonna take the crown. Honestly, man. 
yeah, like you said before, this season has been insane, man. We had so many top level players. I mean, I feel like every season we just see the same situation that happens, you know, like yeah. the most stacked and the most insane mix of players going back and forth. And honestly, man, I'm, I'm proud of how far the arena has come, you know, because I'm proud as well. Yes, the level I of gameplay here is just. I always get a little bit emotional when I when I see what we have achieved together as a community. So guys, thank you so much for the non-stop support. And what are the character picks? Monster Egg, yep. Hovering over that Quan Chi, that's what we expected. Ooh. And Hazem once again seems to bring another character to the Arena Empire. This time it's Sub Zero. I don't know how many characters this dude can play. You guys are like absolute showmakers, man. Like, the amount of characters you bring in, it's just, it's just too entertaining for me to ignore. But yeah, I see Sub Zero Janet, which is interesting and fun serena a pretty popular team for the fun community you know the full screen confirmed and everything like that yes, that is exactly what you want 62 percent on hazem the community already know what kind of alpha sweat hazem is and here we see him go in Yo, janet oh, oh, oh. coming in hot chat yeah janet in this game feels like a better version of scorpion cameo you know the way she extends your uh air juggles oh i like this Double portals. He has armor. Don't press. Nice awareness from Hazim. Just going back and the dive kick, keeping him grounded. Portal up. Ooh. Try to dive kick his way to victory. Great defense. But here at the very end, it is cracking due to that standing four. Yeah, Serena just makes it so hard for you to get your turn. And wow. Wake up, jump, dive kick. We are. This is a wild day. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I don't know, it, it, oh, it we... seems like we never get any breaks here in the arena because the player base, they are playing out of their mind and that Janet finisher here, chef's kiss. That was good. The fact that he, you can free someone with sub and then call the Janet sun double stance and just go crazy, armor break and uh, mix people safely. I like that. Oh, that entire was so good. American reset. Tries to slide Purple. in those DMs, but deny it. And I noticed some people were worried about um, the frame drops happening in the finals in the finale, but trust me, there's like full confirmation that they're gonna patch the frame rate issues and performance issues this Tuesday. So yep, that is right. That's good. Perhaps and I, we already have some, you know, inside knowledge. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes, there's far. gonna be a, a patch on Tuesday addressing the frame rate issues and I think yeah. server stability in general as well. Yeah. So that is 100% going to Oh, slide combo. <laughs> this game is too. This, this game is, is too saucy, so man. Fast paced, yes, and I like it. And Fabs, honestly, oh. is it only me or do we see way more character variety since Janet released? Is it just me, you know? Yeah, you might say character variety but because of Janet release, but I say it's because Striker and Lau got nerfed and we are Maybe seeing right. way more different characters and cameos, man. And this is a very, very close match here in round number one. Monster Egg has it. This already felt like it's going for like 15 minutes, but we just started this one. This is literally just right. Oh no, the spike! Oh man. Quanchi makes some matchups so unorthodox to look at because of the portals, you know. Very unfamiliar stuff. This could be the game over for this. No and drop. Rank. Is it the game one brute? Of oh. course it is. Ow, 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 ow. Constant torment is my gift. Brutality. Quan Chi. And that is one. Oh, in Monster X favor. And it is just unbelievable to see how many people are here with us on a daily basis. We say that so often, Fabs, but 320 people already here wow. in match number one. Thank you guys so much for always spending time with us. And of course, for all the support. Every subscription, every gifted sub, every donation helps tremendously. And I want to flex on these guys on YouTube again and say, Fabs, $100,000 crowdfunded in the arena for the competitive scene. The big Biggest community oh, event out there for the MK Charles community. My fault, I am so proud. Like it, it is really like a crazy milestone. 100 k all community Perhaps funded. I mean, imagine how many hair transplants I I could could have gotten with that. How many hair transplants you got with that? Because one is not enough, right? I need more. No, I, I need several layers. You know. <laughs> 
Oh, man. That's not some legal thing going on there. Did he really just armor out of the combo mid-hit, man? Quan Chi is doing some... I've heard some sub players say this is horrible for Sub-Zero. I like I'm, I'm noticing some scenarios that is like, really, really bad for Sub-Zero to play on. Oh. And Monzarek, this dude doesn't want to lose his turn. This man is just armoring out of everything. Blocks the mix, doesn't punish. Oh, you're getting robbed. Razim, my brother. EX trap. Portal for I me to I just grabbed him out of it. Monster Egg looking so dominant here in this match. I didn't expect it. Round two. Fight. Tough. Now, the quad. Like, we don't even like address how good of zoning punch he has because these one players are playing high rushdown and keep away, you know? But look how this is all from full screen. This is all from full screen. That is, that is just nasty. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Okay. You know what, Kwai Chi? You can have it. You, you, you deserve this type of being bottom tier during your release, you know? Now you get it. And he had so much Greener Drain with Serena and his portal as well. Like, it's. <laughs> the armor didn't get available yet. That's why he got hit there. And all these pawns, all these cages. Here is Hazem trying to get in over it. Okay. Wait, this could be something good. Get a freeze? Go into Janet's stun double? Yes. Mix? I love this. Good. Hazen, yeah, breaker though. Forcing the breaker. And standing oh, for that was disgusting. The range on this. Man, it's tough. But like, yeah, you just have to be aware of what could happen, you know, after like a new hit situation. He could have walked forward, he could have jumped forward, he could have ducked, he could have armored, everything, Ready except for trying to throw a single projectile from that range because Quan Chi will yes, be sir. Quan Chi. Monserec. 2-0, we are on sweep point. And oh, Brandon Sticks in the chat geez. is saying, Cheers, Rips and Arena citizens. Welcome to the live events, my friend. And I want to point out one message I see here in the chat from Fabs is actually bald with his resubscription. And even though we get roasted here on a daily basis, Fabs, I mean, listen to this. He is saying, Seven months. Hell yeah, brother. Rip, you're a legend and a staple in the community. Memes aside, this channel is a fixture in my so life at this point, And I'm always grateful yeah, for the content and loves. So oh, and you're bald. <laughs> That's coming from fast is actually bald. Secrets, none which you're ready to hear. I love the nice version of everyone, man. You guys are just insane. Fight. I hate you guys. Back in the game. Wow, this is game three already, man. Wong's Drag, what are you doing so far? We need to... There we go. You get mixed now. Hey, Lina, get, do you see in the chat that I'm getting bullied here every single day? Yo, what? Did you... This is the what highest... What is this combo? Hey, is it from zero? 57? <gasps> yeah, is this allowed? I've never seen some zero do this time. Like, this is not a damage in my life. Oh, that combo was... <laughs> what the hell was that? Man <laughs> just recorded a combo tutorial. Yo, this Hazim comeback set. I'm here for it, please. Hit him one more time to make sure you, it wasn't a fraud, please. <laughs> that was so good. But like I said before, if you get a freeze and you go into uh, the stance with Janet, you can get like your safe mix launchers and stuff like that. So it's really good. Maybe Hazim just wanted to make it a little bit more exciting and he's going to bring the craziest comeback now. Oh, man. I hate uh, three O's, but this is gonna be a corner carry situation. Oh no, the breaker. Okay, but I, I like this team how it works. You get like good corner carry with some zero. Don't step in there. <laughs> the community saying Hazem is playing on the new Ermic patch already. <laughs> oh grip! It's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. He's gonna get uh -huh. a freeze. Uh huh. Give me that freeze. Call the girl. Come here real quick. Oh, oh, the oh she's taking a nap. Wake up, girl. Oh, why is she chilling? Oh, no, she's chilling. Nice blocks. Punish that. I'm not biased or anything. I just like chaos and, and, and fun. Oh, wait. And chaos and is exactly you. what we are getting right now because Hazem is answering back saying this match is not over yet. Yeah, we need to power up this man and take it to a game five. No bias, though. No bias. But we got to power him up. Because, wow, that was hype. I'm not going to lie. That was super, super hype. This man isn't even in the top 32. We just hear that it's, it's uh, just a room people say. This saying, man is you know? just here to gatekeep. And you know what? I respect <laughs> it, Fabs. 
But yes, everyone out there, welcome to the arena. Welcome to our tiebreaker special event. Today is the last qualifier for season four because tomorrow we are diving in. Season four grand finals, stacked events throughout the entire week. Fabs, I have no idea how we're even going to survive this. Like back to back Shell finals failure, six days in a row. Zero. What did I sign up for? And we also have the air mortality coming through. So be on the lookout, be on the lookout, guys. Crucifix is saying, how much is the pot at for season four? Two thousand dollars. Round one, fight. Yes, even when the game is 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 on like ropes and, and rubber bands and brain stability issues, we still got things like that. You know, got it like that. And Hazim is having some insane combos, man. That was a mid-screen corner carry, forty percent burger. Gets the shove, okay. Oh, nice air to air, but Monster I can't get the pickup. He's safe on that one. Nice. Oh, that's sending force harassing him. Oh. Nice blocks. Wait, did he just <laughs> completely stop the slide here with the bottle? Man, Zone of Fear is, is one of the most interesting things in this game because it just keeps you away. What the? Wait. What is happening? Oh. That was Matrix type shit. That's crazy. <laughs> Round two. Dude, Monster Rock is doing such a good job at uh, gatekeeping Azim from like that close range situation. He's like, you want to get a 50% combo? You have to come in and work for that because I'm not letting you in. Oh shit, and the Quan Chi Warlord himself, Rotha, is in the chat judging that Monster Rock gameplay. Bro, from 40% from full screen is so crazy. Like, Hazim just cannot get things going right now. This might be a checkmate if he gets hit one more time. Pays him in trouble. Swagger, thank you so much for the gifted sub to the community. Looking for the staggers, but Monserac, immediate reactions. Once again, portal up, double portal, and now it's getting tricky. He jumps over but doesn't get anything. Block the mid. Take a turn. Oh, what the? Monserac, you are... What are you doing to this man? Tries to jump to Serena. Tries to control. Oh, this is tough. Oh, wait. No conversion. Oh, that was a ballsy grab from Azen. Setting four is coming. Be careful. Over at Friday, putting oh. his life on the line. One more break available. And that's it, oh, Fabs. This match yeah. is over. Hazen not able to take us to a game five in match number one. But man, that was a blockbuster. That was, that was something to look at. Brutality. And it was just the start, Fabs. This is just the appetizer. This is appetizer? I was so hyped, man. I mean, he, at least he got his clip, you know, his 57 burger with the, with the, with the Cento. I'm happy for that. So let's have a look at our lineup together. But now the players are in the lobby. Here comes Axel and here comes Zero and we get the Edenian showdown. Ooh, Melina Motaro and Katana Jax. I like this. Katana Jax, good team, you know, good health. Good uh, extensions and combos. And Melina Motaro, you get, yes. You can't press after that, by the way. You could add a full combo, but... Sadly dropped it. Oh, Melina. Wait, what, why is everyone in the chat saying thank you, Rips? Wait, for what? Yeah. Guys, I'm not doing anything here. Fabs is doing all the work. I have a, a great mod team in the back. I, I'm just here for the good looks, chat, you know? That, that's all I do. <laughs> no, guys, model, honestly, yeah. thank you so much for watching these events because otherwise, you know, it wouldn't work out. So you are the reason why we are here. So Fabs and I, we actually have to thank you guys for keeping us going. I was so sweaty. EX that throw. EX that throw. Yes. I don't, I don't see people EX in the throws as much, but you know what? Sometimes it's needed. Round two. Let's go. Zero. Down a round against EXO. Which is our debut fighter, by the way. The Melina Motaro. It's a team I don't think I've ever seen in my life. I was about to mention the same thing. That, that has to be a super unique loadout. Yeah, I remember a, a, a French player 
Uh, Snow FTC is what playing Lina Montara right now. Well, that was the, the biggest shitter in that spike I've seen in a while. Oh, no blocking that overhead. Okay, this is too dangerous. dangerous. Armor into Jax, baby. Because combos like that, and it works. It works. Behavior. Final round. And Tigris is saying, wait, so both players in this set were replaced? Yes, Tigris, that's what happened. <laughs> this is it is just how it is. It's just how it is. Nice, get your turn. Mm, mm. I'm yet to see someone kill with a Jax EX throw. Like, EX, give me three bars of the grab in the EX come off. You can kill them. Punish that! Nice! It wasn't a punish, but he still took his turn. Again, Jax coming in Whoa. hot and right now zero. Where is this man coming from? Wait, Jax is gonna hit you. Jax is gonna hit him. Mid combo. Wait! Ooh, we dodged the Jax! <laughs> nice stuff there from zero. Who was down around at first, but then got it back. Good this stuff, is a good, good set. Stuff, good I like it. Yeah. And once again, I want to point out real quick, Artwolf here with his resubscription set. Thanks for all the good time I have here with you guys. Love you all. Artwolf, thank you so much for supporting the entire project, the players, and of course, the entire arena team. You guys are amazing. Welcome to our tiebreaker special tonight. Coming up next, the most important set of the day, an actual tiebreaker. Yozuna versus Milo. There can only be one. Who is going to make it into the finals? And what character are they going to bring? Both of them can play a lot of different characters. Do you think we might see a counter pick war in this one, Fabs? Um, I know Yozuna plays Kenshi and Scorpion. Probably playing more Scorpion than Kenshi lately. Uh, I'm not sure who Milo will bring. Milo plays like three to four characters. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm sad only one of them is going to go to the finals, but it is what it is. You know. It happens. Go. Good facing. Going in booty first. I like it. That is how it works, man. Wait, is that a Jax waiting in the background? Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> what? I was like, is that Jax in the chair? No, the back to Oh, that was so it's good. He put in the air option. Because Jax is on the ground in case you get tagged. I'm liking how uh, Zero utilizes the Jax. Oh, oh, no. read. Yo, I think he might be dead. Oh, Bro. unfortunate drop. Couldn't connect it. That could have been the game. But never mind. We get the teleport. But wait, still breathing. Fips, what, Fips, what is happening Bloody here tomato. in the chat? Excuse me. Bloody tomato just coming in Round extra hot with the 10 point. gifted subs. Wait, Fabs, what have we done today? What What is different? Why is this really? entire community showing so much love today? They are grateful for the day, you know? You guys, thank you. Is. Oh, man, I'm getting emotional over here. <laughs> oh, don't move like that against Kitana. Can he build enough time to get a second jacks? He can, for sure. Doesn't need a second jacks, though. Oh. What? Oh, okay, this the, is a the very ball roll chase right after. Another <laughs> micro duck right now. Exo is micro ducking under everything. These guys are having the battle of neutral skippers right now. I like this. Call the jacks. No jacks. Okay, okay, okay. I respect it. Oh, we couldn't punish. Oh wait, is that safe? What? Hello? <laughs> Is that TP safe after the Melina Montaro? This was actually disrespectful. Zero showing up here as a jump in. And right now this dude is on a mission. So Exo tying it up, both of them had to had very close match faps. Yeah, I mean, we're on Game of Peace and both had different performances throughout. And I think they both have, like, dirt against each other and they can't counter it. So, like, for example, what we're seeing uh, Exo do teleport to teleport. And it seems like Zero's having trouble punishing it. And, uh, yeah, Zero also has some dirt with the like, ground pound and all the jacks shenanigans. Let's see how this goes. Very even in that matchup so far. We have a quite close prediction as well. 59 on Zero, 41 on Exo. He's just getting there. <laughs> this is beautiful. 
Try to ball roll. Got interrupted here on the first startup frame. No up block there, but he takes a turn just like that. Oh, breaker already gone. This could be uh, one more hit when you're looking at losing 40 against Katana. There's Jax. Little dirty setup. And you know what, chat? Can we get some AOS in the chat? Can we have a little party in here? It's the last qualifier of Season 4. And these players, they are delivering. Oh. The block that comes this time. Wait, this could be... I've seen DJ go from this. Oh, he doesn't have enough Jax uh, charge, but he did have meter, though. And he gets checked. That is it, yep. Put his life on the line with that ball roll, but zero. Patience was the right call. Didn't press a button and got the round for it. Oh, that armor into Jax, man. Katana has... Her armor works in a really interesting way. Uh, it's hard to break her because she goes airborne as soon as she starts the animation. So... We love standing that. Oh, plus frames in the back. Oh, nice blocks overhead and low as well. I think those both. I, I think she can launch with a sweep on on uh with Motaro around. It's really really cool. Nice opening. No confirm though. No confirm again. Oh, this is gonna go. Surely, surely you got this, brother. Don't drop it. Oh no, I'm, you you nearly jinxed it. I, you know, I low-key like doing it. I low-key like putting, the, like, you know, the invisible pressure onto them. They don't know I'm talking like that, but I'm, I'm putting the pressure on them. <laughs> With the plus frames, I like this. Very good defense from Zero over there in the corner. Yeah, right. These guys are not getting opened up by staggers at all. They're just holding blocks patiently. They're also not mashing. I just realized they're just patiently playing neutral and staggering. What is that opener? Were they setting forward? And again, booty into Jax. Wait a minute. Oh, oh wait, X was a demon. He did back to back armor. Plus frames. 12% grabs, right? Yes. Plus frames. There's a gap. Oh, you might have died. How much damage can Zero squeeze out in now their combo drop? Super unfortunate, doesn't believe in it, but gets it regardless. 2, 1, Zero slowly running away with the game. Ooh, he's a brutal! Okay, at this point, uh, I think this can be considered unnecessary flexing. I like it. I think uh, Exo needs to do a switch of cameos because the main weakness of this uh, Melina team is that if you're doing a string into Motaro, and they have an armor launcher, you're going to be eating 30% to 40% off of that. I don't think it's worth it for the, like, taking plus frames or eating 40% damage, I would not like that. So, cameo switch might be necessary. Oh, Fabs, and I see my, my boy Robo in the chat saying that he is going to start his new job tomorrow as a Ooh. bartender. Robo, of course, the entire arena wish you the best of luck. Robo, I can work as a bartender too. I'm going to serve you these nuts, baby. Back to the match, Fabs. Oh, shit. I, I shouldn't have said that. Robo, I'm sorry. Hello. I'm going to get cancelled on Twitter again, Fabs. The second time. Oh, man. All right. That's Enter, a new Enter as like sports is never going to hire us, Fabs. I hope you know that. Man, God damn Signing it. here to the arena, Fabs, was the biggest mistake you've ever done. <laughs> 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 okay, it's worth it. It's worth it. I like the community, man. Everyone in this chat loves this. And it's all we need. It's all we need. Going with a double Lao. I mean, I thought it would change a cameo, but he's changing this entire team. Overhead. Yes. But with this team, the double Lao, the twins, uh, he does get access to the overhead. The safe overhead launcher. Oh! That was a clean whiff punish, actually, with a little Voltex. Zero. On set point. Round two, fight. And now it's all a matter of playing that spacing game against Katana though. Not doing the double Jax combos, which is, I mean, economic, you know, kind of like saving his cameo for the right opportunity. Nice. Got to hold down block to not get launched in that situation. Oh, these daggers. 
Yo, Exo's so patient. Bro, no, no. If this was any other lob player, the armor would have came out like or, what, like 10 hours ago. And just armoring out of it. Here comes Jax, and that's gonna be the match. Is Zero flexing again? Of course, just like all that other Kitana players. Done. This man loves to close out this set in style. Brutality. Kitana that was good. Wins. That was good. That was a good match. But Fabs, now it is time, brother. The most oh, the important set of the day. Ooh. Because now we have an actual tiebreaker on the menu. Yozuhuna is gonna meet Milo. Once again, the reminder, Milo right now rank number 30, while Yozuhuna is ranked 34. That means the winner is going to be guaranteed in the finals, and the loser is most likely dropping out here on the last day. I know that both of them are super, super nervous right now. They actually messaged me before the stream started, but perhaps that's part of competitive gaming as well. It is, it is, it is. And to be honest, man, I... I like the thing is I like all these players, man. They all like uh, allow me to learn more from the characters and the different play styles and more about the community and the scene. So knowing that one of them won't make it to the finals, you know, it sucks. It sucks. I always but, wish that yeah. we could just give every single competitor a spot in the finals. Of course, that's not possible. I would li like to pay everyone for just attending, but now it is time to sweat milo and yuzuna both of them are in the lobby guys can we get some eos in the chat power them up because this is the most important fight for them here in season four so far what is it oh and right, right, milo right. after a long time bringing his day one main reiko versus astra okay Wait, 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 what's going on here? I've never seen them play uh, these characters in a while. There's a Huna going Asher Chameleon, which has been kind of uh, a topic of debate lately on the timeline on Twitter and everywhere. It's like, Ashra is a character that doesn't lose many matchups. And since day one, she's just been like the under-discovered top five character in the game, potentially. Um, so yeah, let's see, let's see. And just can't, I mean, Chameleon makes her so strong there. Overhead for days. Yeah, she, that, that overhead is kind of safe-ish with uh, pen lift, which is crazy. Oh. Come here, my friends. Command grab city and, of course, assisted by Tremor. The unit dropping that combo was kind of, you know, that's a cool. That didn't work. That works, though. Good stuff. A few drops from your Sahuna here and there, a few drops from Milo. I think they're both, you know, feeling each other. Feeling each other, feeling the game and how it goes. Beautiful man there from Yozuna. He was so ready for that. I think Yozuna honestly spent the last six hours in the lab getting ready for this particular fight here. <laughs> he better, man. He better. Cool. Trying to play that Reiko uh, jab into, into overhead, into sweep, into grab game. But yo, yo, who didn't just escape that automatically, you know? That was crazy. More anti here. Yo, so my little with those. Mm, mm, mm. The knee slide. Knocked down. Do it again. Do it again, Milo. Milo's scared of the armor. Oh, the spacing Ooh. was immaculate on this one. Minus six, takes his turn after me. Good, good stuff. But still though, you still need a big life lead. I think if he gets a grab right here, a command grab, he can kill. Oh, Over commitment and there we see the tournament nerfs. Milo, a little bit too confident on this one, has to pay the price for it. Yozuna is taking the lead in this set. Do you expect an immediate character switch from Milo? I feel like he had some trouble um, you know, adapting to the Ashra that he might just go to what was comfortable, which is probably his Reiko. I mean, not his Reiko, his Beerus. <laughs> yeah, Tigris is saying, when, when did Milo start playing Reiko? Uh, Reiko is actually Milo's day one main. It was the first character he played, then he picked up Beerus after. Ooh, and Milo is saying, you know what? I don't care about Reiko. I don't care about Beerus. I'm going top tier Johnny. I've been in recovery too, you know. We all have our inner demons. And you know what, Fabs? I can understand it. 
Yeah, I mean, Johnny's also that one character that is, is it's a good pick against anybody in the cast. You might need to play a lot of footsies against Ashra as Johnny. You know, that's what your job as Johnny player should be, you know, learning footsies and how to outspace people in neutral. But your Zeruda so far not impressed, just decided to mix Milo real quick. Yeah. That down four, it does keep Johnny away. Like, you see that? He's gonna spin that down four as much as he can. Because he gets the, if you get a little advantage as Astra, especially with Chameleon, you get your turn, like, immediately, you know? we will take a great execution from Yuzuna throughout this entire set already. I will make this quick. Round two. Like, Astra's turn is so scary to deal with. She has overhead, she has mix, she has good throws, she has amazing mid taking terms. Like, whenever it's Astra's turn to press, you do not want to be on the defensive side. Oh, nice block. The late mid. This is good for my low. Safe jump. Oh, wrong decision again. And again, the chameleon on the neutral man is so good. Probably the best cameo in the game. Free. I feel like chameleon is better than even some full characters, you know? I feel like chameleon is better than Havoc. <laughs> Midnight in the chat is saying, Ashra touched you two times and you're done. Sounds like Fab's love life. Ah! Hell. <laughs> no, Fab's like, why am I catching strays here? Can you do anything? I'm just getting commentary. <laughs> oh, man. Fab's is like, I'm, I'm never going to commentate with this bald man again. <laughs> Yozuna up 2 out chat. <laughs> oh, Yozuna might make it in the finals. Yozuna looks Milo very, in. very solid in this match so far. I gotta say, it looks super prepared, very, very focused as well. Not dropping anything. Let's see if Milo sticks to Johnny. Okay. Okay. Is right with evil. Kelly is saying, I like the music. Thank you guys so much. Always super, super personal. But you have to understand, since I'm streaming here daily for like more than three years, I'm, I just started to listen to whatever I personally like as well. If you guys, you know, if you guys jam with me, it's okay. If you don't like it, don't forget, YouTube has different music. Oh, yeah, definitely might be like an uncomfortable situation for Milo, not knowing uh, how to, you know, punish Astra's situations. Dropping the Opti as well. Oh, it's a bad day for him. Armor. Be careful. At oh. the oh, and again, Yo. Yozuna converting everything. Okay, it's actually so optimally, man. I love this character. Pokes again. Oh, keeping his turn for so long. What is going on here? <gasps> and the side extension off the 2 3, three. Yeah, she can launch meterlessly off of all, like most of her strings if you have Melina Sai available, which is really good. Yozuna, right now, honestly, is just looking unstoppable. Milo is looking for answers, but he can't find any. I'm glad he's going to found his character because he's been like on uh, Kenshi, on Scorpion, on. I think there's one more character besides those two that he played. But now he's on Ashra, which is like the character. If you have good choices against the mentals, you should play Ashra. Good choice of armor. Got opened up oh. by the stagger. We saw a counter hit. That means Yozuna tried to press. And I add this Yo. time Milo and Massive Noodle in the chat. Where's my boy coming from? Thank you so much for the five gifted subs here. Fabs, the community today, they're going crazy. Thank you guys so much for the support here. The last qualifier in season four, and you guys decided to bring the hype. You know, signs of life from Milo. Can he bring this around? Oh. Oh, the opening! No confirms, Milo, you can't miss those. Dude. Oh, that's gonna be a confirm. Going for the cash. <gasps> massive Noodle with more gifted. No, Massive Noodle is saying, I'm not done yet. Another five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, chat, you guys are... I don't even have the right words for it. Just thank you. Oh, that could have been dead. Yosuna used one hit into Fatal Blow. 
no Milo has Breaker. Ooh, gets the fairy. Milo. Milo, Milo, what are you doing? What are you doing, Milo? Fabs. Milo, you just... Finish him. You just... Fabs, the, the tournament nerves got him. I, I can honestly say that I know how nervous Milo is. One of our youngest competitors out there. GG's. And Yozuna in the chat is popping off saying, let's freaking go. Yozuna, congratulations for making it into our season finale. It's unfortunate to see the young boy Milo go. But you know what? Yozuna also a crowd favorite to make it to finals. And I'm glad he's here. That is, yeah, cannot wait to see you. That is finale. just a little heartbreak. I know how nervous Milo was. And it's, you know, perhaps after six weeks of qualifiers, it just, ah, on the last day as well, this hurts. True, it, does, it really does hurt. But yeah, tiebreakers are tiebreakers, you know. That is true, of and course. Yeah. Teddy's so happy for a good job, good job. But that means we have to switch to our PC League. And there is one more set waiting for us. And I know that Fabs in particular is happy about this. <laughs> Maxiel is back, our Kenshi Warlord. But he doesn't play Kenshi like all others. He plays Kenshi with very, very unique cameos. Most of the time, Kenshi Darius. That is kind of exciting. You know, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty cool. He mentioned one day he wanted to play me, and I was like, yeah, I'm down, but, but you know what, let's, let's calm down. Focus <laughs> on the arena first, you know. Don't come to me, you know. Let me breathe here. I'm sorry, Fabs. I, I got distracted real quick from the message here from Massive Noodle saying, Rips Arena, dude, you keep me going just like a bald bowling lane. <laughs> I don't even know what to answer. What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, my. Uh. I love this chat. <laughs> we love you guys as well. Thank you so much for all the support today, for going crazy here. Kelly as well with another gifted sub to the community. I think, Fabs, I speak for both of us when I say thank you for keeping us going, for allowing us to do this here as a job, believe it or not, even though my parents still don't believe that this is an actual job. But yes, you guys are amazing. Let's go. PC time. PC boys are here to game. And we're diving in. Both players are here. Maxiel versus Iceberg. It might be Kenshi versus Nitara. Oh, I, I'm not a fan of that matchup, to be honest. But you know what? Fabs, if you're going to tell me that this is a losing matchup for Kenshi, I'm, I'm going to kick you out of the Discord. No, I don't think so. You know what I, what I really think? Even if it's a 4-6, Kenshi, that's good. That's a good matchup to me, you know? Even if no. Kenshi's losing the match, that's, that's good to me. As long as I can play the game. <laughs> hey, what is wrong today? Noodles. Massive Noodle again. What is the support tonight? Thank you, guys. Massive Noodle, you, you're an absolute mad lad for that. Amazing day. Amazing day. Amazing day. I love watching Ashra because of the potential and all the mobility she offers. And that is just what I, how I like to play games like this, you know? Even though I do play Kenji, but I like seeing characters on the screen flying around and doing their own thing, you know? Yo, Maxiel just went for the one for one string, unsafe as hell, but he doesn't really care though, because you have Sento available. Uncle is here. Don't drop that. I think the Uncle is here too, game. Okay? Maxiel with a very strong start in round number one. Try to armor out of it, but the Uncle was there in the back. Maxiel, I like what I see. <laughs> Sento 2 covers like a lot of wake-ups in this game a lot so it's not that good to wake up against kenji unless you have like a special treatment like johnny or something like that that's unsafe where's the punish i sure might not be comfortable against kenji oh i think especially versus kenji darius you need some specific matchup knowledge as well because you don't encounter that combination quite often yeah but i'm i'm seeing him do rising karma on block and i'm like that is so oh, no 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 Nah, what this man is doing is 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 really really like just keep bed. Oh man, I think if, if you lose the big kill, first thing you do, you go to the lab immediately. <laughs> I, I love that this works though. Good stuff. That was so sweaty. Maxil is saying, Fabs, take your notepad out. I'm gonna show you how to play that character properly. Truly, truly, truly a master of his own.
And once again, the reminder here for everyone live with us, if you guys want to stay up to date with like the latest arena news or the rankings or of course who's gonna play in the finale and stuff like that, please always make sure to join our Discord. One tip here in advance though, make sure to mute the server because this honest, our Discord is honestly like the MK1 community hub, fabs. It is more than 5,000 people are in there, discussions every single day. So if you want to join us, link is in the chat. Feel free to say hello. Oh, the loose switch. I like that. You know, force uh, makes you able to not play as I'm safe, to not jump around as easily, and to also put a bit of fatigue, Dark you know, and get zoned a bit. <laughs> you set things up so I'd fight Johnny for Sento. I wanted you to meet. The fight was your decision. Oh, the extended PC stare down. <laughs> The good old, uh, not... It's how it is, it's how it is. But there we go. Zoning for my spear. No armor? There we go. Found his turn. Keeping Uncle busy. That's all I gotta do. Just stall. Just stall. Just stall. Good trap. There he is. Uh, tossing him around. Get your ass in the corner, I want to talk to you. Oh, that, that oh, delay nice. was a little bit too long on Maxi's end. You get no combos, though. Oh, ending with fire kick means you don't go for Oki. Yeah, he's not going for Oki. He just wants to keep Tenchi away. I mean, I, he was he was in the stance where he had no armor, so I feel like keeping him on Sento's stance would have been beneficial. But you know what? Do what you think it's worth. Nice. Get that. Get that 40. Next time, next time. Oh, that was so filthy. Round two. I think Mixio, um, I swear, is just not holding block long enough in such situations. I feel like he would. Oh, oh that was so risky. <laughs> Wake up, out three. Punish that as well. Ooh, I swear. Oh, it's over. Oh. Good basic from Max here. That was a clean whip punish. Yep, goes for the resummon, and now it's party time. Over there, yeah. Ice Pair in the blender. Ooh, the double back two into the center one. Ice Pair. Ice Pair block low. No. Oh, he's dead. Finish. And that Kenshi Darius combination is so oppressive. <laughs> like, Kenshi not gonna lie. Three. Kenji Darius, man, it's a team I don't really see much about, but he's using it to get Sento out on block, which is definitely interesting. And Artwolf in the chat is saying, Rips Arena is my antidote for my for my breakup I'm experienced for the last two months. Thank you for giving me back my happiness. Guys, that is one of the coolest things about creating content in general, I think, Fabs. I think I speak for both of us here Kenji. that we are able to, Luke you know, Kenji. just make people Dark. laugh a little bit, maybe distract some people out there. We get that message Kenji. on YouTube quite Kenji. often as well, where people say, you know what, Rip, every single evening I, I just watch these events, fall asleep to it, and it, it distracts me a little bit, and it gives me joy, so... That is honestly one of the one of the nicest messages we can receive. Thank you guys out there so much for watching our content. And of course, I'm super proud that we can, you know, make your day a little bit better at least sometimes. It is truly like, like I love how everyone um, says a nice word to have a little routine here. So, I love that. I'm always here to spend the day with you guys. So, man, I love this punish. Oh, this is going to be tough, isn't it? Ooh. And now... We have 80% of the time in Mix City. Yeah, Ice Per, this man is having nightmares tonight. One, two, three, back, still standing up. He found the gap. He's trying to poke. I feel like the best way to take a turn is not poking here. It's just a port for it. Ooh. Mix City was so comfortable. Maxi looks like like a Dark Souls boss right now. There's Darius again. Set up time. Oh, I'm not taking that as well. And Iceper is on his potential last round if Maxi keeps going on like crazy. Fight. Oh, 
Ooh. I didn't watch Break his feet. It. Another clean opener found by Maxiel. Do we see the resummon? Of course we do. Ooh. This is tough. The fact that Darius is still behind him and that is wraps. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Maxiel, excuse that me. Was. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Because I Join want the same. Brutality. That was tough. That was okay. tough. This man did it in with a 3v1. <laughs> that was a literal speed run from Maxil here in the last match. GG's to both of them. That Kenshi is dangerous. And I'm pretty sure that Fabs enjoyed this one. I did. I did. I did. <laughs> it's amazing. So, as we mentioned in the beginning chat, unfortunately, we have to keep today's, uh, today's event a little bit shorter because now... Our work is not over yet, Fabs. We now have to generate the final rankings, have to message all the players, so we are ready for our grand finale tomorrow. I cannot wait to see who's going to be our next champion. Of course, I cannot wait to see all you beautiful guys back and root for your favorite player. Tomorrow, we start with our PS5 top 32 part of the finals. Then Tuesday, Ermac top 8. Wednesday, PS5 top 16. Thursday, PS5 top 8. Then Friday, PC top 32. Saturday, PC top 16. Sunday, oh. PC top 8. I don't know how I'm going to survive oh, next week, man. but luckily, I have Fabs and so many other great co-commentators next to me. It's going to be a wild ride, so if you enjoy MK1, make sure, subscribe to the channel, stay up to date with the latest is competitive news but for now Fabs and I we need a break so I'm gonna catch all you guys tomorrow have a wonderful evening and we're gonna send you